Today, we'll be taking a new look at the old game of golf, disc golf. In a few minutes, I'll be speaking with Paul Oman, who recently placed top 50 in last summer's world tournament. Thanks for meeting with us today, Paul. Thanks, glad to be here, Chris. I was wondering if you'd mind explaining while we played a game. Yeah, no problem, that sounds great. All right. Well, Paul, I noticed you have uh, quite a few discs out here. I was wondering if you could explain the different types of discs and the different purposes they serve. Of course, Chris, no problem. Uh, first, I'd like to start off with the putter. It's uh, the slower of the discs, uh, got a nice big rim, and uh, it's usually what we use to put in the basket. Uh, second off, we got a utility disc. It's, uh, it's more of a mid-range. It's a little bit faster than the putter, uh, and it's still got that, that big rim for the grip and uh, it's got a, got a lot more control than the drivers. Next we got the uh, fairway drivers. Uh, as you can see, the drivers have a little bit more of a lip than the, uh, the mid-range, so they cut through the air a little bit faster. You can get a little more distance on them. And uh, after that, we have our, uh, our max distance drivers. Uh, these are, these are going to go a lot farther than anything else. Uh, they're going to cut through the wind a lot easier and uh, they're going to make it a lot easier to uh, shoot the lower scores. So Paul, what disc are you planning on using on this particular hole? Well, I'd, uh, I'd usually throw a putter, but today it's a little windy, so I might bump up to a mid-range, just to get a little, a little more control on the wind. All right. Um, how are you planning on going about this? Well, I'm going to use a fan grip, a control grip. Um, it's a little bit, little bit better for the, uh, the mid-range, and uh, you can get a little better hold on them. And, uh, kind of spread your fingers out here and uh, create grip between the, the middle finger and the index finger there with the thumb. Okay. You mind showing me how this is done? Yeah, no problem. I know disc golf is based on regular golf. I was wondering if you could explain some of the differences. Well, there's, uh, there's a lot of similarities, uh, but I'd have to say some of the differences are um, this basket right here. Uh, instead of putting into a uh, small hole in the ground, we have this large catching device here. And uh, one of the other differences is probably the discs. Mesker and the USI Disc Golf Course are two local places in the Evansville area. Do they hold tournaments? Yes, uh, we have two tournaments yearly here in Evansville. Uh, we just held our Evansville Open, which uh, we utilize both of the courses, USI and Mesker Park, which is nice. Uh, people coming in from out of town can uh, get to see what we have to offer here. And then uh, later on in the year, after Halloween, we have our pumpkin shootout, which is a very well-liked tournament. A lot of people come out for that, and we usually fill up, so. I noticed you were sporting pumpkin shootout apparel today. Yes, I am. Uh, it's one of my, my favorite tournaments. I actually won the pumpkin shootout last year, so. Congratulations. I like to uh, wear my pumpkin shootout t-shirt around. Oh, nice throw. Now I noticed you threw that disc a little differently this time, Paul. Could you show me what you did? Yeah, that was uh, much like a tennis shot. It's called a forehand. Uh, you just come across the body. It actually mimics a, a left-handed backhand throw. It puts a little bit different spin on the disc. And uh, I don't know, it just creates a different shot. Here, I'll uh, demonstrate one more time here. Oh, thank you. I see. <laughs> ah. Did you watch where I went in? So Paul, since I buried this disc pretty uh, deep in the woods, what are the, what are the rules with this? Well, the, on this particular hole, there's no out of bounds, so you're gonna be fine. Just gonna have to uh, retrieve it first and uh, throw from behind your lie. Did you see where it went in at? Oh, this area. I mean, I, I can get it, it's just gonna. Ah. Not gonna be fun. Ah. <laughs> oh, why does it gotta be in like thorn bushes? Yeah, that's like, that's the best part about this golf. They intentionally surround them with thorn bushes? Yes. No, it's when you're playing good and then someone else throws in the thorn bushes. Ah, this would be a prime example of that. Yes. Well, I'm not playing all that good. Yeah, but I'm playing good enough to make you look better. 
Well, Paul, I think that's a, uh, enough of that forehand throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that first one you showed me. Backhand, yeah, it's good. It's a good choice. Oh, do you see that? Success. Hit a little lower because the wind's gonna push it. All right, and that's how you complete the hole. All right. Which next time, see if we can do it in a few less strokes. <laughs> so by my count, I say we're about even. Right? Yeah, that, I think I think that's about right, Chris. <laughs> so Paul, if I were looking into getting disc golf myself, how much would my initial investment have to be? Well, that's what's uh, great about disc golf, not very much. Uh, you can come out to USI and uh, they'll actually let you rent a disc or you can go to, uh, I believe Dix has some discs and they range anywhere from $8 to about $15. And um, you could also probably find a local and he might sell you a, a cheap used disc for a couple bucks. So, not very much to get started. Trying not to make a fool out of myself again. It's all right. Just aim high and left. You got this. Right? Yeah, high and right, and it'll go left. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it is, it's right on top of the hill. I was, I was hoping for a little more distance. Well, I mean, it's not like it's gonna go in the basket your first time. I'm not looking for the basket, I'm looking for like, I'm dreaming big here, 30 feet. That was like 80 feet. That was good stuff. Mid-range. Just like last time, I'm way over there towards that tree. I think you aimed at the basket. One more. Way to the right. Oh, you got my disc dirty. I'm just joking. You got a rag in there, I saw it. Yeah. Well, Paul, I know um, Evansville has a local disc golf club. Uh, what, do, what are members' roles in this club? Well, uh, we basically just uh, get together every once in a while and discuss what we want to do uh, with the courses. Uh, we have course cleanup constantly, and uh, before tournaments, we like to get the, uh, the course looking nice. So we all come together and uh, just do our own part and kind of um, just try and help promote disc golf and keep the courses looking nice. All right, and how does a disc golfer become a member of this club? Uh, well, we have a president, Nick Fest. Uh, you could probably talk to him. I think you could probably go online to the uh, Ace Eagles Disc Golf Club and uh, they, they could help you out. That's at onetimediscgolf.com. And uh, you could probably join there and get a hold of somebody there. Well, thanks for meeting with us today. Um, disc golf is obviously a very difficult sport. Yeah, well, I had a great time, and I uh, hope you got a little insight into it. And activities at home. My name is Ashanti Banks, and I'm at Audubon State Park. <laughs> 